to the Johnny Bobby Show. Back to the Johnny Bobby Show. I'd like to apologize for uh, the construction going on in our other studio over here. But uh, as you know, we're doing a Halloween special here at the Johnny Bobby Show. And I want to say thanks to our uh, first guest, Barack Obama, president. Thank you, Mr. President. You can uh, you get out of here now. Our second guest is a man that uh, claims that he's the fifth Beatle. Yeah, he's the fifth Beatle. His name is uh, John Ringo Jefferson McCartney. Come on out, John. Nice to have you on the show, John. How's it going? Thank you, sir. It's going pretty good. It's pretty good. So, uh, they tell me that you're the fifth Beatle. What, what the hell does that mean? What does that mean? It's a long story. Uh, actually, I can go back about uh, 40 years if, if we have time on the program, of course. We have plenty of time for you. This is the Johnny Bobby Show. Oh, okay, great. Like I said, the Beatles, that's a stupid name. I, and I know where they got that name from. I had a display case with all my little Beatles in it. I, I had little Bobby, and, and little Sterling, and, and little Ridlin. Oh, oh, and Sue Bell. Oh, Sue Bell was a great Beatle. She, she was beautiful. Oh, my little Sterling Beatle. Oh, it's great. It's great. I, 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 I loved my Beatles. They knew. They knew I loved those Beatles and they stole it from me. The only thing I ever loved. Those bloody bastards. Made millions. Made millions from my dream and my name. I knew it. Sounds like a, something a serial killer would do. Something like the, the bad guy in Science of the Lambs. Did you see that movie? That was a bit rude. Yeah, well, on the Johnny Bobby Show, this is a dime a dozen. Well, may I continue my story, please? We can play in time on the Johnny Bobby Show. It's the Johnny Bobby Show. We got time. Well, we got time. Everything I ever wanted to do was to be a part of them and a part of their story. And I wanted to be a star. I know I can be a star one of these days. Jesus Christ, are you still talking? I just want to get rid of you. But you said I had your entire segment to tell my story. Your entire segment. It's an hour. I've only been here for like two minutes. I haven't even done a commercial yet. Where the hell is security? Hey, you promised. I don't promise. You promised. I don't promise. You, you promised me that. Tell my story. I didn't promise nothing. Yeah. Oh, you promised. At the end of the Johnny Bobby show, we got our asses kicked. <laughs> I guess that's the end of our show. What have we learned today? Uh, let's see. Barack Obama's invisible. The Beatles, boring. They're, if all of them were still alive, they'd be just as boring. And uh, Silence of the Lambs was a great flick. Jody Fasta, Hapkins, that other guy. So, uh, from all of us here at the Johnny Bobby Show, you all take care of yourselves and each other. See you guys next time. All right, can y'all just shut the fuck up? For tickets to the Johnny Bobby Show, call 1-800-555-SLUTS. That's 1-800-555-SLUTS. No messages were harmed in the making of the show.